I'm Shannon Dunn. I'm a traditional Irish musician and a Shannos dancer. So Shannos dancing is an improvised step dance that's from the Connemara region of Ireland. And one of the great things about Shannos dancing is that you are constantly interacting with musicians. So in my classes, I've really become very passionate about teaching people to interact with the musicians from the very beginning. So rather than thinking like, oh, I have to get myself to a certain level and then I'll be able to improvise. We actually start from the very beginning and I teach them how to improvise from the get go and how to be musically sensitive in a way that promotes that interaction between musician and dancer. So this summer, I'm launching a three part teaching tool in order to help people develop those skills and help people in other regions. So the first part is a CD of traditional music. Um, I'm gonna play the concertina and I've been joined by a bunch of my friends who play locally, some really, really amazing musicians. And you can see videos of them below. Sean McComiskey on button accordion, Josh Dukes on guitar, Sammy Suplee on fiddle, and David McKinley Ward on banjo and guitar. I'm so excited about this CD. I think it's going to be musically lovely. I think that it's also a great representation of traditional music that you would actually hear if you came to a session or a place where we were playing music. And it's also a lot of the tunes that I play for my students in class. So for people who are my regular students, it's helping them develop their ear um, for those particular tunes. So that's part one. Part two is a book of exercises. So there are percussive dance exercises and improvisation exercises that help you develop an ear and a skill of responding in time um, and in real time to music. So it's 30 different exercises that I've developed over the past couple of years. Short little things that you can do while you're washing the dishes. You can do them while you're hanging out. Some of them you can even do in your car. Um, as, as you're driving along, you can become a better dancer, who knew? And those exercises can help anybody. They can help beginning dancers, they can help dancers who've been dancing for a long time. A lot of them I do regularly to just keep my skills really sharp. So the third part is a DVD. And the DVD is going to be steps that I have constructed to help students understand musical phrasing and to kind of model for people the kinds of steps and things that you want to think about when you're making up steps on the spot or when you're kind of developing your own repertoire of steps. And rather than just teach those steps and say, put your heel here and put your toe there, I talk about the musical concepts that are at work in those steps. So if you're somebody who naturally responds to movement, you can use the movement to better understand music. And if you're somebody who understands music, you can use your knowledge of music to understand how to use that in your dancing. I'm really excited about this project. Um, it's been a long time coming and I can't wait. Now here's the costs that are going to be incurred. The CD's already been recorded. It needs to be mixed, mastered, and produced. The book's already been written. The steps are already choreographed, so I just need to shoot the DVD. So we have the studio costs for the recording and for the mixing. The engineer costs, the musicians, I would love to pay my friends who are kind enough to do it for free but really, really, really deserve to be paid because they are amazing musicians and they're professional. Packaging, duplication, and mastering. The book needs to be printed, the video shot, and video duplication. I'm also going to start a Facebook group so that people using this package can interact with other dancers, give feedback on their own dancing, ask questions, just check in, see how it's going to kind of build that dance community. All of this is totaling $6,600. And the beauty of this, why one of the reasons I chose to use Indiegogo, um, aside from just being a great way to get the word out about traditional music and about this project, is because it allows for that flexible, um, flexible donation. So if I don't meet my goal of $6,600, I can still get the money and I'll just start chipping away at these costs. So, the beautiful thing about this part, about the book and the video, is that if I actually don't get the money up front, I can produce them, I can put them online as downloads, and then I can go ahead and print them once those things have generated enough revenue. So I'm really excited. I think it's got a lot of potential to help a lot of people 
become more creative, more spontaneous in their dancing, and better, better um, enjoy Irish traditional music. So thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the videos below, and I hope you can support it.